let's continue with our work the scroll of my mouse uh, will help me to zoom in zoom out and f will help me to fit to the entire screen the schematic will just fit to the entire screen when i press f i have gone for a sinusoidal source v sign from analog library and i have set the properties like this the amplitude is 0 0.5 initial phase 0 and frequency is 1 hertz the time period is 1 and as you can see it offers a second frequency as well frequency to initial phase for sinusoid 2 amplitude 2 which means this one device can give you two waveforms or a summation of two sinusoids right check and save also i want to give these nets names uh, they are at the moment named as net 2 and net 3 when i press l i can create wire name i will name it as out and there is another way to name the nets by pins pins are extremely useful i mean pins are the only way to create symbols when i want to make a symbol of this uh, i have to put appropriate pins for that but for a moment i can name the nets using pins as well i often do that so i am putting a pin with name in and i am connecting that pin to this right now you can see this name uh, this net is named as out and this net is named as in right now you can also open you know analysis window from this here you can start the simulation from here right stop time let's watch the waveforms for five time periods i want to go for liberal okay and run Well, the simulation is over. Results, direct plot, main form, transient analysis, I'm plotting voltage, I'm plotting voltage of a net. You can plot uh, these as well, but I'm plotting voltage of a net. And this says select net on schematic. Well, I'm going to select this. And I have ticked this option add to outputs. Yeah, you can see this. Now you can see the top and bottom of the wave are you know slightly distorted from an ideal sinusoid. The reason is because we have done a liberal simulation, not a conservative or moderate. Right. Now the advantage of uh, taking this is that when you run a simulation again, you don't have to go to results, direct plot and then come back and select this this is added here v out transient plot so this will be plotted automatically when i click run no it is running in the background here it is running in the background here it ran and the voltage is automatically plotted i don't have to go back and ask it to plot again and if i say append it appends to it instead of replacing this waveform and I want to show you how different it would look when I go for a moderate simulation. Well, uh, the liberal and moderate did overlap. Now let's see how conservative would look like. Yeah, you can see a clear difference here between moderate and conservative itself. The conservative is a smooth uh, transition or it's a smooth wave. There are no uh, approximated or uh, you know edges in a sinusoid. It's a smooth one. Now I just want to uh, again measure the time period from this plot. The standard way is to use a calculator, but uh, I will tell you a simplest way that we can use so just zoom in and uh, point the marker here press a that will give you one marker and press b 
that will give you an another marker and you can see the dx and dy here right it's uh, very close to one right it's 997 milliseconds so if i adjust it properly it, it will show me one as the time period right it's one easiest way the standard or the best accurate way is to use a calculator and detect peaks and measure the time difference between the two peaks now let's try a different thing let's try an ac simulation let's go for a series lc network so one nano henry inductor one picofarad capacitor and I just want to put some resistors in parallel with the inductor well uh, this technically now is a series LC network there is a quality factor to the inductor the capacitor is pure and I want to change the properties here and deleting all this stuff I'm just uh, going to give AC magnitude and phase let's start with one one as magnitude and let's give a phase zero now I'm I'm going to do an AC simulation now uh, I'm sweeping frequency and I'm sweeping it from 1 hertz to 10 gigahertz let's say and sweep type I want to go for logarithmic with 100 points per decade results direct plot main form you can plot uh, AC voltage magnitude phase db10 db20 let's look at them this should have magnitude 1 or all the frequencies see magnitude 1 or all the frequencies and this would be a peaking at a resonance frequency right? if there is no resistor it would have a very large peaking so this frequency is the resonance frequency of uh, this circuit and if I have to plot in terms of gain, AC gain, what I would uh, do is results, direct plot, AC gain and phase. I first have to go and select the output and then I have to select the input. That is when the voltage is actually plotted. First output, then the input. All right, you can see uh, gain and phase right so as you know there is a peaking at the resonance frequency and there is a sudden shift in phase from 180 degrees to 0 degrees there is a shift of phase by 180 degrees and there is a peaking around the resonance frequency uh, let's see what it is around 5 gigahertz right you can also do something like H and then make it 90 to read the exact point of resonance. Right, The peaking would occur somewhere before or after the exact resonance frequency but the phase would be at 90. Right? This is all about AC simulation. Alright, uh, let's go back to our resistance divider network again. I want to introduce HP simulation to you. Basically, what HP simulation does is uh, in any circuit, it runs till the transient is settled and then it gives you the output voltages. So, let's start with the sinusoidal source and amplitude. 0 0.5 initial phase 0 frequency 1 
amplitude 0.25 initial phase let's say 90 and frequency is 2 hertz let's start with this the device is set up like this and let's run a HB simulation so if you say run transient uh, and say a particular time let's say stop time 10 t step so you are expecting circuit to settle in 10 seconds of course this is an ideal passive network in some active networks there will be some settling time where uh, this will be really helpful so put it something like two to three times the expected settling time and then uh, leave it if you still doubt your simulation to an extent increase this t step in this you can say decide automatically and you can uh, decide not to run it all right number of tones there is uh, there are two tones in this however the second frequency 2 hertz uh, is a multiple of 1 hertz 1 hertz right so i can say it as a one tone and put fundamental frequency 1 and uh, number of harmonics 3 so it will evaluate the circuit performance at 1 hertz 2 hertz and 3 hertz since i have set number of harmonics as 3 if i say 5 it will evaluate it 1 2 3 4 5 all right so let's say 3 and i'm going for conservative okay let's run yeah the simulation is done and results direct plot main waveform analysis hp and it offers several things but uh, we are concerned about the voltage for the moment select net and we will look at the spectrum and we will read the peak value not the rms for now and you can see magnitude phase dp real imaginary all these things right now let's see this thing as you can see this is 500 millivolts at 1 hertz and 250 millivolts amplitude at 2 hertz right now let's plot phase and yeah you can see this is 270 degree and this is 360 degree i have set this to be 90 degree apart from this and you can see 270 degree and 360 degrees this will be interesting when you're uh, and very helpful when you're doing some a simulation for any circuit and you want to see the circuit behavior the response at several frequencies and at several nodes i want to show you one more thing uh, b pulse and let's set a square wave time period let's keep it as one rise time one milli fall time one milli pulse width 0 0.5 let's even keep it uh, even lower one mu one mu delay zero you can go as low as one femto well uh, this is also set now let's run hp simulation yeah this is run direct plot main waveform voltage spectrum magnitude since I have run it only for three, three harmonics, it shows for one, two, three. But uh, you can see this value 653 and this value DC value is 500. Right. Now let's take a step back. See, uh, zero and one. This will be a square wave between zero and one, whose DC will be 500. And you can calculate the values at all the frequencies now let's increase the harmonics and see let's keep 10 harmonics and since it's a square wave it only has harmonics at odd frequencies odd multiples of the fundamental it should right well the simulation is done results direct plot main waveform magnitude in yeah the dc is 500 and you can see you can read these values and confirm uh, with your calculations
So HB, HB will be quite useful uh, when you are dealing with circuits which has uh, different frequencies and when you want to read the values at different nodes, uh, now I want to go for this, this should have 250 millivolts as its DC value because it's a resistance divider. The DC value at this point should be half at this point.